we got a game to our hands and it's not focus versus colorful because that is apparently over with focus being the winner so we go into the round of eight that's the quarterfinals immediately and it's basically an all-time classic of hawk versus focus yeah really looking forward to this one um seems like hawk should be warmed up in this matchup already having <laughs> defeated two orcs previously but focus is another uh, another caliber and especially with how recently focus has been playing yeah. wait didn't focus versus hawk didn't they play in the shook cup yeah they did right shook cup two grand final oh my god i'm actually remembering a game holy Dude. shit that that's longer than two days ago yeah it, i'm it was so the proud grand of final. you it was the grand final and <laughs> hawk got destroyed with three zero so he's gonna have to make up for that this is his time for revenge if he wants to play tomorrow in the round of four and want to get some prize money, then hell yeah, he has to step it up. We're on Echo Isles once again thus far. His games against Orc on Echo Isles went really, really well. So let's see how Focus defends his early aggression. He must know about it and he must prepare for it. Thank you very much, Heyman, for the two month resub and Gore Emperor. Did what we have the Tommy chat already? Not sure. The Tommy Chash, thank you very much for the 25 months. Just past the two-year mark. Let's keep it rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. I love that song when I was young, when I was a kid. Oh my god. But that's a I, fucking awful song, I right? I always hated Limp Bizkit. Like, I love rock music and stuff, but Limp Bizkit is the epitome of everything that was bad with rock at that time. Hate Fred Durst. Hate Limp Bizkit. But at that time, like, when I, where I was growing up, among our circle of friends Limp Bizkit was like Dragon Ball Z like it was just yeah. part of the culture you know well and there was a 50 were... 50 divide I think there were the Linkin Park boys and there were the Limp Bizkit boys no that was kind of the same we also all like Link Linkin Park we were more tolerant than you I guess Neo, is the short <laughs> answer which makes sense considering how many times you told me how many Nazis there were in Wisconsin. yeah I grew up in a very very rural area that didn't like foreign people at all. <laughs> didn't you say that there was also uh, oftentimes uh, like fights going on between the Russians and the Nazis? Yep. <laughs> Sounds pretty fun. Perhaps pretty fun. Yeah. Wasn't that as much fun in practice though? <laughs> so, focus. One of the best orcs in the world. Uh, top, th top two orc at the moment. I would. De yeah, definitely. Definitely. Maybe he's even the best orc in the, at the moment. The Lin right. is no longer, without question, the number one orc in the world, if you ask me. And that is me saying this with probably Lin being in the top three of all time, in my mind. I think focus at the moment is killer, is under no doubt in my mind. And especially, I love his early game creep routes, his early game movement. I feel like he's covering the map so well. He exposes so few weaknesses, and that's important for orc. Is he going two Boro Tech, by the way? No, he's going one Boro Tech. But and this was this. a perfect example of what you were talking about. The Blade Master going here, the Grunt going here in the north, so he knew exactly when and where the, uh, the Archmage was coming, so he's perfectly prepared for this. And he put in a few right clicks on the AM, losing a few HP, and the Grunt block coming out as well. This AM won't be able to make it to the Boro here in time to cancel it, I think. Or does he still have the Oh, there's already attack. peons in the burrow. Can he block it? Yep, oh. fills that little gap. Oh. Dude, Focus is so good, I'm telling you. Dude, I love how Focus is playing recently. Yeah. His base defense as well as his early game movement is just so outstanding. How different is this game looking compared to what we saw against Isorc and Guagua? It's the entire opposite. Like, Hawk didn't accomplish anything. He got to level two. <laughs> but last time he got to level 2, he already killed a burrow and a half. And what did he do now? Nothing. Yeah, Focus kept his base safe, and that even with a one burrow tech. Just because he's aware of the meta, he's aware of the possibilities. Pops a scroll of speed here to run after the AM. If he gets the boots, it's gonna be a nightmare for the Archmage. Who's faster? Focus, of course, because he doesn't make mistakes! Oh my god, he's so good. And he got the staff as well, so the Archmage can't even teleport out. He has to TP out if he, if he wants to keep the zero yeah. alive. Jesus Christ. Dude, I love Focus's play recently. It's unbelievable. 
Can he somehow find the kill because it's focus? Uh, he doesn't have mana. He sends oh, grunts over. There is no that. shop. So there's absolutely a possibility. Oh, militia at the merc camp. That's pretty cool. Ooh, scary though. Oh, there's shadow priest now. Yeah. Yeah. The blessing. That's Blessings! Shout out to anyone who's seen Commenter Kit, the new episodes. Alright, AM actually does get level 3 here, almost! But the Blade Master shows up and the AM is slowed! Oh no! That's not what I wanted! Yes, it's a spell against the slow, perhaps! But there's still boots on the blade. Footies coming in, they have to block, they have to save their first hero here somehow. Not Wait, interested just... in that at all. Just passing. He's right? Yeah, he summons another water metal, can't block with that either. At the boots of speed, best item in the game. Oh! Kill the Archmage. And now he has to revive the AM that's going to delay the MK as well if he wants to go MK. Which he will because he's Hawk. However, still not level 2 Blade Master. Once again, Focus delaying his experience, almost neglecting it a lot in the early. But don't let that be uh, the judge of the early game. Focus here. Coming in in force. Damn. Dude, I love Focus's play so much <laughs> recently. It's insane. Sh oh, shall we get you some lube and you know, some paper towels? Neo with his dark, twisted mind once again, <laughs> twisting my words. No, no, no. Focus is just. I think he's in the best shape ever, perhaps? I, I can't remember having, him, having seen him so strong. I. I hesitate to agree because when he was really strong back in the day, my game knowledge was even lower than it is now. Nice around by Hawk, by the way. He was going Alchemist now. So maybe back then I didn't appreciate his play that much as I do now. But in recent years, this is certainly the best focus I've ever seen. Shit under coming into range. He has a hex. Does he want to go for the big hero kill or just the Berserker? The Berserker is pretty easy to grab up here. Oh, especially with the end snare. Oh, but there's heal spray action. And okay, the archway first. Joins the fight, gets another surround on that grunt. Two kills would be maybe a nice start of a comeback for Hawk here. Only using the hex now. Okay. Um. Oh, but now with the slow speed. Ah, uh, yeah, he wants to go for the AM, of course, because the TP is gone already. I forgot about it, but Focus didn't. Shadowhunter almost got surrounded, but once again, the AM is dead. And guess what? So is the second hero, the Alchemist. Oh my god. Remo, I think it is time for the first the time today. Is. Yikes. <laughs> That's a yikes, yeah. I'll give you that one. That is a yikes. <laughs> Damn, dude. It came at a price. Two grunts lost, but, well, easily worth it for two heroes, of course. More claws now for the Blade Master. Who, in this, in this entire game, just to put this in perspective, guys, the Blade Master killed one creep. Yep. He's almost level three. Yep. Wait, am I missing something? Is it? It actually is only one creep, right? Yeah. He only killed the. The item warrior. carrier here. The two, <laughs> two trappers are still there. I mean, just a moment ago, he crept this camp, of course, but before that. Damn, the focus! He is looking so scary. Yeah. He's just got the killer instinct at the moment. Yeah, everything's just working out for him recently. It's uh, quite insane. So he needs to shadow onto level 3, and then maybe it's time to seal the deal already. Hawk is playing basically without a hero at the moment. Late Master here. One more Windwalk. Soon to be two. Could try to go for the Berserker here if he's greedy. Oh, one raider coming in for a bit of lockdown with the ensnare, perhaps. Wormel coming, Kodos will soon be joining. SH is not level 3 yet, but... Focuser wants to look for the fight. And that one ensnare from the creeps, two <laughs> from Focus. That's going to be three units killed here quickly as it seems. Disenchant oh against God. all the slow, against the water elemental as well, and... Was that from the Murlocs again? I Dude, these Murlocs are being pretty unfair. He heals up the surrounded walkers, so that one can't be killed. Basically, only footmen. Alchemist coming in now with only the heal spray. But he's so targetable. 
Set under perfect positioning with the school of healing and now level three. Now he has the heal wave level two. The militia is so close to the main. I usually a big help in these early game, especially engagements. Hope he's gonna lose one unit here, but that's the only one. The one raider. Everything for Hawk is so low. Like heal spray, yeah. But for how much longer? The Berserker again. Caught with the end snare. That's the second one that will die. Illusions to trap him. Oh, late master though. Ooh. Well calculated. So he's losing a bit on the way out. Still only two units though. Two raiders is what he lost. He killed way more in the process. 44 supply for focus now against actually also the 44 for hog, which is amazing. Yeah. How is that possible? Yeah, I don't know. Cost him a heal scroll as well, I guess. And some clarity to heal cells and so on. Attack. Kodo's coming now, and this time when the fight starts, he has a level 3 Shadow Hunter, which he just got. Blade Master still well equipped. He has no items really for mana. Just a little worrying, but Hawk has nothing. So, so more second try. Off. Means basically no militia support and oh, he needs that Arkin Vault. He needs it badly. Oh yeah, nice. he's not gonna get it. Okay, he kills the shop in the back. That's nice. On the cost of a footman and a second one, I guess. Yeah. But the Vault is coming up. Oh, it actually is. And almost call to arms being used. There's barely any mining anymore. There's more militia coming in from the main. Scroll speed will save that one walker. It nope. seems like the front line is really missing here for focus actually. Only one raider, only one grunt. The raider is gone already. There wasn't even spirit link here despite the fact that there's no breakers in this human army. And perhaps Hog is fashioning to come back now. Focus is getting quite a few kills though. Sorceress down, Berserker down. Finally level 4, hello crit level 2. And the alchemist still only one armor. It's not getting trapped. Or oh, is he? Big hit, but there's a potion. Need to use it soon. There we go. Hawk again, man. Oh boy, that crit was massive. One more hit. Oh, one more crit, and he's dead. Windwalk. The healing works out nicely. The peons with the pickaxes. Can they do it? No. What? He, why does he just go into Windwalk and kill him? Perhaps he was looking somewhere else. That was pretty weird. One more heal wave here for the Shadow Hunter with that level up. He got more mana. And the Blade Master is looking for more kills. End Snares on cooldown at the moment, but they're gonna be ready again soon. AM, if he dies here, this must be the game. Yeah. Second in Snare trying to get the surround, and he gets it. Focus is stomping over Hawk in this game as the AM dies for the third time. GG. GG indeed. There was a. A small time where Hawk got a lot done, but from front to end, basically, the Korean was yeah. the factor in this game. Like, unbelievably was... strong. Seriously, I am so impressed. I, I just enjoy watching Focus's games recently, yeah. because especially in the early, everything seems to be crafted to perfection. There's no flaws anywhere. You should have seen his series against Moon, man, it was insane. And he's continuing the strong form. And is, I think, on a sick win streak against Human at the moment. You know what? I'm going to double check this on our wonderful, not our homepage, but uh, our partner the wonderful website. page, Warcraft3.info. Exactly. Which you should all have bookmarked, of course. Fly is watching the game as well, trying to get some tricks off of focus, as he is struggling recently in results and plays. So, 1-0 for Focus. He could, with one map, make it into the semis tomorrow, which of course started 1 p.m. CEST. And this time we are on Last Refuge. We've only seen Echo and Northern Isles thus far, so this map and this matchup is pretty new for us today. That is most certainly true. It's an interesting map, I think, in this matchup. It swings back and forth between the two sides. Uh, talking about favoring here. Because it can be very tough for the human early on. Not even level 2 is going to be free or guaranteed. Level 3 is the really hard 
thing to claim for the AM, but if you get to the mid game, if you survive long enough, if you don't fall too far behind for an MK second to get him up to decent levels and find good items, that once uh, suddenly becomes pretty easy to achieve. But Focus has the early game down. I don't see him giving up anything easily here to Hawk. Thank you very much, Color94, with the two months. Where I grew up in southern Germany, the name Karl Heinz was really, really uh, uh, popular. How is it in northern Germany? Same. Really? Love of Karl Heinz's. Yes, yes. I thought there was all Maltes and like uh, Jan Mente and stuff like Jan that. Jan and Johan. Oh, really? But also like tons of Philips and to Tobias, right? Yeah, that's normal names. That's yes. everywhere. Yeah. And then, yeah, especially the older generation, Kalines. <laughs> <laughs> and then came the Kevins. <laughs> oh man, the Kevins, yeah. <laughs> so a richtiger Kevin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, in fact, there are so many Kevins. I, for the longest time, didn't even know that Kevin originally was like an American name or English name or whatever. It's like not originally German, right? No. Yeah. I always thought it was. A lot of people love the movies, man. Home Alone. And then, you know, Netflix and chill, baby, name it Kevin. Is that where they came from? I think so. That's Home my Alone. theory, at least. That was, yeah, that was also amazing as a kid. Slapstick humor along with the... Uh, child uh, showing the adults how it's done. I mean, it's a recipe for success. True, actually. Number 2, 10 month resub. Remo, please go to Rocket Beans and Gegner versus Neo. Uh, with Neo. Forces are under attack. Don't know if that's gonna happen. Late Master this time. The aggressor. Hawk for once not trying to get something done in the Orc base, but rather focuses on creeping. Focus though. Ooh. Damages the Archmage again and getting the Murloc, right? He did. Pretty sure he did. If he steals one more of those Murlocs, AM can't get level 2. That cannot be allowed, really, but there's one more Windwalk. Hog's trying to play around it. Not too easy, though. Blade Master just needs to get one. Just needs to get one. Hog's trying to get them both, but he can't! And that is the disaster of early game LR for him. Ouch. Four XP missing, but how to get that now? I mean, you can go to the trolls in the north, I guess, but... The Blade Master will just always be there. I mean, at the trolls, you can pretty easily get it. That's not the question, but how much is he going to cost you? Uh, on the other hand, that is the question indeed. Hawk is so scared, he's going for boots. A like, super early. Are under attack. Blade wakes up the creeps. That should be one easy footman killed right here. Danger Wisp with the 28 months. Bring back the damages real cheers for being legends, chance. <laughs> That's your department here. Okay. The damage is real! <laughs> Grunt actually gets ensnared here. So the neutrals this time around on the human side. Blade Master gets the return kill on the footy, but that's of course not even remotely as imp impactful as the grunt. Because you really want to have the three grunts out on tier two, so then you can continue to creep at a reasonable speed. Whereas whether it's five footies or six footies, that really doesn't matter. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, hey, um, so, though so, he's so hurt. So good he got the boots here. That probably saved his life again. 60% on the tier 2 tech. Tier 2 already done for Focus, who's once again going Raider Walker. So if this, this Grunt had not fallen, Focus would have certainly dominated this early game, even being down a level. This forces mm. Hog into an earlyish shop. So no reinforcements, no items, just. Oh, trying to get it around again without follow up damage. I don't know. But there's not too much else he can do right now. If he goes for a creep camp, he knows the Blade Master's right there. Who, by the way, hasn't gone for any items just yet from the shop, so he saved a lot of gold in this early game. So the one lost grunt, I guess, doesn't even hurt too much. Dust will not clip the blade. But... Nothing can be crept right now anyways. MK is coming, one Sanctum's coming, shop in the back. 
That's good. Won't be losing that one so easily. So focus what now? Upgrades. Okay, just wait a walk on no. But from time to time he throws in a early wyvern of some sorts, but this is end snare first. And another grunt kill here, as it seems, as the end snare hits him again. Dude, these end snares have been really unfortunate for. He stole it, right? He stole the asset with the AM! Sniper Archmage! Wait, that's a double grunt surround. What the no hell? Way. Can he fight he out? Him no, all. he can't fight out because he replaced it's, the hurt it's footman. He's gonna get him all! Oh my god! That's oh my god. an epic. Oh no, he's getting out. Oh my god. Otherwise, that would have been absolutely epic. Mountain King arrives, so is the damage Wait. there? Oh, Windwalk. Stormbolt. Ah, shut down just too fast. Okay. Wow. Forces are under attack. And the hunter becomes the hunted as these grunts get stuck in right there. Really, really well done by Hawk. Realizing his opportunity. Who and almost the Blade Master dying there as well. And suddenly, this game is in the human's court. This is so crazy how Warcraft games turn around like this. One kind of lucky surround in the early, and then the strike of genius, and boom, game turn on its head. There's no invulnerability now. Also nice, more experience. No, but level three, finally level three. But you know what? The Shadowhunter is only level one and a half because he was so aggressive with this, with this early Shadowhunter engagements. And now the Sorceress come out. Single Windrider here for, I guess, a bit of base harass. Oh, and there's no towers in the main at all. This is going to be pretty annoying to deal with. Hex on the Priest. Okay, but another Grunt dies. That's four Grunts dying. Normally, this game should be unwinnable for focus. At least the Blade Master has some good damage for now, but that's about it. Dispel upgrade coming now, but Hawk is dominating the middle of the map, getting both consumables. Thank you, Radiant AG, for the 12 month resub. One year feels like one month. Keep it going, boys. Thank you very much. Okay, so the Windrider harass here in the main is pretty expensive. It's gonna require two towers to deal with as the single scout is not gonna be good enough. And mass repair here as well, but peasants should be able to keep it up. This is designed to buy space for the rest of the orc army to power creep up as much as possible, but Hawk is not falling for this as he's coming up for the creep jack. Focus has to go for the Zeppelin, okay. And with that, actually, he gets out of here. Scott free, basically. Well, it cost him 240 gold for that Zeppelin, but he got the item there as well, which was the Ankh. Okay. There was a potion of greater mana prior to this for the Mountain King oh, yeah, at the shop. That's, that's the best one, and he steals more experience here. This level three, no, it's, let's get some closer to the level three. Still not, we can't even think about a level three Shadowhunter. But if Hawk pushes into the main against the shop, against the boroughs, that could be one way to overextend and hand over this lead. But he's playing it patiently, he's falling back, continuing to creep. Level 4 AM, level 3 MK, these are massive level ups. And of course, all the items as well that can be found. Oh, but the first shockwave here already bruising this caster army fairly nicely. Snare comes in, gets the first kill here onto the Blade Master. But as you said, there's no level 2 heal wave here. Unlikely that you can take a decent fight. It's an arm. Does he want to trigger it? Does he, did he check the inventory for it? He's investing a lot of mana onto this Blade Master who will only lose the item. I don't know if that's the right call. And okay, pop the greater mana there. Got plenty of spells still left to use. Blade Master, no mana on him anymore. Okay. He's almost surrounded. Is he surrounded? Not quite. Well, he's getting slowed. Second chance of the militia turn around, and they almost do, creating more space. There's another Stormbolt coming. This oh, this spot is again. 
the Choke. spot again. <laughs> the heal wave arrives a little too late. This is at the center of death right there for focus. He's gonna not want to return to this spot in the next couple of days of ladder games. This was an absolute disaster. He's losing another raider. Somehow supply is still looking okay. As the blade master is being revived. Sick play. Oh, the grunt! No, the grunt stayed in the spot. Oh no! Are you serious? Oh. <laughs> Another three supply. Dude, how much supply died in this little corner? Well, at least fourteen, right? Rather more. <laughs> Two raiders, That's five one grunt. grunts. That's five grunts and the blade master. Oh yeah, true. Ah, That's okay, yeah, yeah. There was fourteen in that fight. That's hard. That's oh, yeah. And the archmage got level four. And focus now what? Like some hail mary plays. Gets the endurance aura, which is nice. Against slow, especially. Blade master's almost back, but. Hawk is all the time in the world. For the second red spot on this map. He got so much out of this map. It's unbelievable. Army for him still isn't the biggest. And only 45 supply. Ancient Django for him as well. Movement speed always good. No matter what you're playing. And a bit of a tech speed. Throw the Magi for the Shadow. Okay, more mana for him. Blade Master is finally level three. Does he have crit too? Gotta check that real quick. Yes, he does. Makes sense. You kind of stay with your army anyway, because there's a fight in it all the time. And most of the map, kind of, has been crept already. Our focus is moving across. Confidently, though. Oh, Once again, into the corner of the area. Uh -oh. Exactly. <laughs> Going for the Archmage. Maybe it's working out this time for him. Nope. Hawk just says TP out. The heal wave arrives in time. Nothing dies this time. Alright, gets a TP for kind of free, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. Focus can steal an invul maybe here. A player's yeah. forces are under attack. Getting the dust as well, I like that on the Shadow Hunter. Oftentimes, Invis is the saving grace for the humans. Not with that one. Hey, I'm getting close to level 5 though, and. Quite a little bonus damage on him as well. Subby Mask. Come on, give me that Subby Mask. Triple Windrider. That's a Is this lot. becoming more and more meta to go Wind Yeah, Riders we've seen earlier? this before. I guess it's because the MKs nowadays always just spam clap and you don't have to fear the storm Is that the idea here? But isn't this orc army completely incapable of, do of dealing with breakers? It's, it's rather for hero focus, right? You have three ensnares, hex, and then damaged by wyvern and blade. Oh, does he realize that the Archmage is here? There's a breaker here for no good reason. Oh, that was a little bit scary. We oh, now he does. A little too late. We get yeah. Blizzard, by the way. No water elementals anymore. Uh, wait. Where's the Tome of Retraining? Or maybe he's holding on to the point. Yes, he is. So now it rains from the skies and it hurts. Oh, Archmage, though, hacked and ensnared, and that's exactly Ooh. what I said before. Hero focus with this army is super strong. Critical dispel there from the priest, getting rid of the hex, otherwise the AM would have died. It's so nice when you say something at the caster and then it takes 15 seconds and exactly that happens. That makes me <laughs> so happy. Yeah, he's pretty heavy on the wyvern now. Four out already. Late master. Copying a good amount of Oh, that blizzard is looking real good. Ah, he has to be careful, man. Better safe than sorry is his motto here. Level 4 on the Shadow Hunter. Clap the hype. Invul potion. Oh, blizzard again. But so fast the sense snare. Jesus. 
Blade Master though. There's no Ankh for him anymore or Invol or anything. The Shadowhunter can't heal anymore either. AM once again is going to be forced into a TP here as it seems. And that's the saving grace for Focus because everything for him is about to die as oh. that Walker just barely makes it away. Seriously, he was about to lose another 10 supply yeah. in one second or so. Wow, interesting how Focus like takes the initial kills with the Wind Rider th with a piercing focus. Then he starts losing the fight, but by forcing the TP out of his opponent, he ensures his own retreat. Yeah. This is... I haven't seen that before. It's kind of interesting. Cool dynamics in the fights, that's for sure. And they're still in this. Man, this matchup is so cool. Oh, AM's basically level 5, though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And MK. <laughs> level 3 Clap Blizzard. Yeah, there's no way. <sighs> I guess it makes sense to go Wind Riders. There's no way you can beat this with Brown. But in the long run, are Wyverns still... Are they that good? Yeah, no, you can't fight in a prolonged engagement. You have to do this kind of weave in and out. Speed scroll in, find the kill, speed scroll out, or forces your opponent to TP. But no, they're not the best pound for pound fighters. Never were. Then again, there's not too much against Wyvern especially. There's no Water Elementals, there's no Rifles. There's Blizzard, I guess, and Stormbolt, but that's kind of it. Slow, of course, is really good against them as well, it's, but... But Hawk's adapting, it's Stormbolt 3, not Clap 3. Okay. So with the Bolt, you can take out the Wyvern or easier. And still control the ground. Focus is patiently waiting on the high ground. Yeah, but with what? Too much. Full mana on the Shadow Hunter. Here come the Wyvern. Oh, that clap into Blizzard. But again, disabled. Thanks for the hex. Focus seems to be mislicking here. What's he going for? He doesn't seem to be too sure going for the AM first with a hex, but that didn't really yield any results. And Snare gets rid of the Blizzard here quickly. Invul Potion on the Archmage with the Mother Blade. He's gonna have to go for the Invul here himself soon. Revealed with the dust. MK Mana is ready, but he dodges the Stormbolt with that invul once again, trying to force TP, but the crit finishes off the AM! And the Blade Master TPs out, not realizing that there wasn't enough mana for the MK. So this time it's the other way around. What is this game? It's Dude, a tuck of war if I ever saw one. That crit at that time. Yeah. Might have saved yeah. Focus the game. It's not over yet, though. Focus does have a supply lead here. Shadowhunter's going to be level in... 5 in a second. Yeah. I think it was a mistake to go into Blizzard here. I didn't really... know why he does that either. Like, there was no need, really. Maybe he thought, okay, I'm going to be here at the choke, and it's going to be good, and I'm going to be here on the high ground or somewhere in the back where he can't reach, but that didn't happen. And I didn't even realize. All the casters are dead. There's one Sork, one oh, Priest. Yeah. That's it. Oh, boy. He's got all these breakers, but no support for him. And no anti-air with this, like... Oh my god, focus, you madman! How has he found a way, a way to win this game? So, Stormbolt, uh, surround. Now he's trying to cheese his way to victory! Uh, but Invul transferred. So good. He has the heal scroll, he has the heal waves, he has the invuls now. And the invul is gone, as he said. Archmage takes quite some more time. But in the meantime, the breakers will fall. God. This is so hard to be able to find a way with this Wind Rider style. Dude. Hawk is so insane. Hawk is still in this with 15 supply less, but Archmage is about to be back. Yeah, this, this lack of anti-air. This desperate, des desperate attempt to get something done by Hawk, but it's just not working. This is doing good damage, oh. but the MK has to be careful. Needs to go He's to the shop, to shop again. He's so short on resources. Archmage, uh-oh. And Snare, we know how that will end in another TP. How many times did the Enterprise beam him up this game? Five, six times? 
Jesus Christ. What like, a when, when Focus was sitting up on the high ground, I was thinking the same as you. It's like, it looks like you have no chances. Yeah. There's no way you get out of this one alive. He didn't have a TP or anything either. But, but this play with the in-wall and then the Archmage kill was just phenomenal. And this is actually so hard to pull off. It's not just like, haha, Windrider, right clicks, kill after kill, easy yeah. game. No, 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 no. You have to know exactly how to take every single fight, what to focus. <sighs> Main gold mines are dry, Please. Remo. Oh. Hawk has okay. no gold no more. He's got free regen, basically, with the brilliance. And the priests. Yeah, but focus has an expansion on the way. Yeah. Hawk's not even waiting for the last Sorg. Would be a pickup. Oh, the Wyvern. Once again, reigning supreme. That's a one two combo. Windriders, Blade Master. Easy kills. And the Blizzard isn't even that good. Shadowhunter. Oh! Went way too far forward here, actually, but Invul keeps him safe. Dust against the Archmage as well. Stormbolt controlling up the blade, and that's a massive blizzard, but instantly cancelled with that Hex. The spell against the Hex as well to try to save the first hero. He's fast with that aura. The Blade Master has the Windwalk, and that's the GG. And the 2-0 for Focus in a game that seemed lost. Absolutely. Finds a way back. Like, Hawk came back. A lot of times against Linguagua and Ice Orc, but this Orc was too much for him. Focus is seriously, you were hyping him up before, but that man is on fire. Even though he was struggling in like most of the game, especially since the mid game, the early mid game. But how he got out of there, how he transitioned, how he found the solution, and how he saw the weakness of Hawk's play was Gosu. Yeah, absolutely. Uh... I continue to be impressed by Focus. Uh, yeah, just in one of the best shapes that I've ever seen him in. Yeah. Now he's in the top four as the first player today. Absolutely. And three more will follow. It is uh, either Imperious Lubber or PCG in the second part of the grid. Foggy versus 14 Sway and Joshi Shi versus uh, or Shun or Life. Sock gave up, apparently. And yeah, then we're going to know our four players for the Shao Y Cup Finals tomorrow when it's once again about $300.